Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and this is part four of the Time Signature series on composite meters. So, what is a composite meter? Well, a composite meter is just using groups of different time signatures to make up your phrasing. A really popular example of a composite meter is in Led Zeppelin's The Ocean, where they're using bars of 4-4 and bars of 7-8 back and forth to make up their phrasing. So counting-wise, you'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so forth. It ends up being able to make some really cool feels out of this kind of thing. So I figure let's start there. Let's go with a 4, 4, 7, 8 kind of feel. Now I'm not going to play it just like the ocean. I'm going to do something on my own. So you probably noticed nearing the end of that example, I started pushing the last 16th note of the bar of 7-8 and tying it over beat 1 of the 4-4 bar. Let's take that idea and expand upon it a little bit. So, let's look at one more example, just because composite meters are essentially just, you know, taking what we've already done and just placing them in different orders from each other. Let's take a look at one more example, and this is going to be a groove that I came up with about 10 years ago. It's a breakbeat kind of thing. It's in three bars of 7-8 and a bar of 15-16, but it's really quick, so listen to it. Try and wrap your head around it a couple times. I had a lot of fun playing it. I hope you guys like it. There you have it, composite meters. We've been through quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, the whole shebang. So I hope this helped you guys understand time signatures, how to use them, and how to think about them, all that kind of stuff. If you guys have any further questions, don't hesitate to email me or leave me comments. Um, please subscribe to my channel and check out my website, AaronEdger.com. Take it easy.